Hello, in this video we're going to be talking about coordinate planes and the shapes they can make when you connect any of your ordered pairs. So first we're going to talk about the shapes. This is a quick reminder of what all of the different types of shapes are. This would be a great time to pause the video and write any of these down that you maybe forgot or just needed a refresher. Maybe take a screenshot so that you have it to look back at. Triangles, quadrilaterals, pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, octagon, nonagon, and decagon. Those are the um, first polygons that are needed to know. When we deal with four-sided shapes, we can also break them down into more names like rectangle, square, rhombus, parallelogram, trapezoid, and kite. So most of the shapes are going to probably have one of these names that you graph today, but if it's a four-sided shape, make sure you give it its best quadrilateral name. So let's take a look at the activity today. Remember, when we are graphing, we always go over first and then we go up because we're working in the first quadrant. So the very first number said two, we're going over two and we're going up to four and we're gonna put a dot there. The next one, we go over four, but we don't go up any because it says zero for the second one, so we're gonna put a dot there. We're gonna take a nice straight edge and we're gonna connect our dots. I don't have the capability of using straight edges, so I'll do the best I can, but please find something to make a straight edge when you make the shapes. The next one is six over and four up. If you're having trouble keeping track where you are on your list, either put a check mark or cross it off to show that you've used it so far. Again, make sure when you're connecting your lines, you use a nice straight edge, unlike what I'm doing. The next one is go over four, up to six. And we're gonna connect that dot. And the last one says two, four, which that was our starting dot. So all we have to do is connect our last dots together. Now, the last piece of this pro problem is what shape did it make? Well, this is a four-sided shape, so if we forgot, we can look back at this chart as to what a four-sided shape that might look like this, and we'll find out that the kite is what matches it. It has equal adjacent sides. So we would write the name kite down. Let's try another example. Try this one on your own. Pause the video. Resume when you have completed it to see if you have a correct answer. You might not have grid paper. That's okay. You can make your own using the line paper in a spiral bound notebook. All you have to do is create the vertical lines. Welcome back. Let's graph it. We go over two, up five, and we put our dot. Over four, up four. And we're gonna connect them with a nice straight edge. We're gonna go over six and up five. And again, connect with a straighter edge than that. We go over six and up six. We're gonna go over five and up seven. We're gonna go over three and up seven. We're gonna go over two and up six. And our last one is over two and up five, which was our starting point. Now we need to count our sides. We have a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, six, and seven sides. Again, we can look back at the chart for a seven-sided object. And a seven-sided object is a heptagon. 
If you didn't know that, that would be a good one to start to memorize so that you always know a seven-sided shape is a heptagon. Keep practicing and good luck.